Hello everybody, I am Arbella and today I'm going to be reading a book for you called Time the Up Winnie by Laura Owen and Corky Pole. Let's get started. Glug Glug Splurp. Winnie was drinking fizzy froggle pop. Scrunch Munch Gulp. Wilbur was eating crispy mouse tails. Beep Wiggle Bop. Winnie and Wilbur were both in the kitchen singing and dancing along to the very loud music. Winnie and Wilbur were having a party, just for the two of them. They had pumpkin pizza, toad on toast, and crunchy cabbage, crisps to munch. They had balloons and streamers. It was a lot of fun. Winnie and Wilbur went to bed very late. That night, Wilbur went straight to sleep, but Winnie didn't. Snore, went Wilbur. Snore, snore, snore. Oh, please, shush, Wilbur, said Winnie, putting her hands over her ears. Snore, snore, snore. Snore, splutter. No, moaned Winnie. I can't sleep with that noise. Winnie put her pillow over her head, but she c couldn't get to sleep. She was still wide awake, and she stayed wide awake for the rest of the night. Chapter 2 When the sun came up, Winnie got up too. She felt very tired. She tried to make Wilbur a toast or toasty for breakfast but she didn't watch that what she was doing soon flames were coming from the cooker meow went wilbur he spat the burnt toadstool toasty out when he didn't want to eat either so they opened the can of beans and had th them for breakfast instead. Then Winnie tried to tidy up all the mess left over from the party. Boom! The vacuum cleaner exploded! Bang! Splush! The washing machine broke down. Me he he ow! laughed Wilbur. There was mess everywhere. Then Winnie slipped in a puddle of water. Slip, crash. She knocked over a pile of plates and pans. Bang, bang, smash. Bang, clang, smash. Oh, soggy slug bottom, cried Winnie, over cov covering her ears. I wish I could float away from all this noise and go somewhere calm and quiet. She waved her wand. Abracadabra! At once, Winnie was inside a giant bubble. It floated silently out through the window and up into the sky. Ah! said Winnie. She closed her eyes and snoozed for a while as she floated up and up. When she opened her eyes, she saw birds, planes passing, but she couldn't hear them. Perfect, said Winnie. Then she looked down. Her house looked tiny, far down below. Wilbur was only the size of a flea. Oh, 
said Winnie. I'm too high up in the sky. Get me down. But Winnie couldn't wave her wand in case she stopped the bubble. Help, she said, feeling a bit panicky. Help. No sound came out of the bubble. But a small sound came from Winnie inside the bubble. Pop! Whoops! Said Winnie. The bubble got a little bit bigger. Pongy wongy! Said Winnie. Why did I eat those beans for breakfast? Wilbur, save me! Wilbur was down on the ground. He saw Winnie's bubble floating high up in the sky. He was worried. Meow! He called. He knew he had to get up there to help Winnie, but how? He didn't have wings, and he couldn't fly Winnie's broom. But Wilbur did have balloons left over from the party. Wilbur grabbed lots of balloon strings. He tied some to his tail and held right to the others. Then he began to slowly float up into the sky. Chapter three. Up, up, up went Wilbur until he was next to Winnie's bubble. Winnie was waving and moving her mouth. Get me out of this pongy bubble! She shouted. But how could Wilbur burst the bubble without letting Winnie fall from the sky? Meow! Wilbur had an idea. He let go of of one balloon. Wilbur called Winnie. As Wilbur and His balloon sank lower, but now Wilbur's balloons were like a cushion under Winnie's bubbles. That way, Winnie could pop her bubble and be safe. She poked and poked with her wand, and pop! The pongy wongy bubble burst. Winnie landed on the balloons. Ah! Fresh air. She said, but Winnie was heavy, and the balloons quickly began to sink. Whoops! Tweet, tweet! What's happening? Began Winnie as a flock of big, beaky birdies flew alongside her. A tweety tweet treat went to the birds. They thought Wilbur's brightly coloured balloon looked like a juicy fruit. So the birds started to peck the balloon. Peck, peck, pop, pop, pop. One by one, the balloons all went pop. Winnie and Wilbur started to fall. Winnie flapped her arm. Trying to fly, I it didn't work. Just then, Winnie remembered that she had her wand. Abracadabra! She shouted. At once, a big umbrella appeared. Winnie and Wilbur floated down slowly and landed gently in a lovely, soft, flowery meadow. Tweet tweet! Sang some birds. These. I've had enough of birdies for one day," said Winnie. "But at least I'm safe on the ground." "Meow," said Wilbur. "Yawn, yawn. I'm tired too," said Winnie. So they settled down to sleep in the long grass. But after a moment, Wilbur began to snore again. Snore, snore, snore. Not again. Cried Winnie, but she was so tired that soon she was snoring too. Snore, snore, snore. 
grunt, 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 snore. So it was only the birdies who had to cover their ears. The end. Thank you for listening to me read. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.